Yo guys, welcome to Earth Things Day. Today we're playing some more summons. Well, how are you all doing today? My name is Sniss. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see on your screen, there is a Diaz, the Dark Death Knight. He was very easy to access due to the fact we have Hall we had Hall of Heroes, so I should expect lots of people to have one. You don't need to see him much in arena to know that he's not around much, but everybody should have one for the fact that he is great for a certain few things. Now, let's first see how I have ruined the boy. Going over to the runes now, as you can see, we have guard uh, and endure, uh, which pretty much is just resistance and defense. Um, he's got uh, HP, HP, defense. As you can see, I have six star runes on him, so it's actually not too bad. I mean, we're missing two here and here. That's all right. Doesn't matter. Wait, have we got any new guard runes we can replace it with? No. Uh, actually, bear me a second. Uh, we could do. That one might. If we plus 12 that, that could be decent. Like, we could see some big improvements there. Yeah, I'll work that out in my in my own time. I don't. We don't need to worry about that. But yeah, so, you need guard, endure. You need high defense on this man, high resistance, high HP. That's what you need. Um, you could go for energy runes if you don't have the fancy ones. Um, yeah, so you can go for energy, uh, guard, because guard you can you can farm easily. Guard can, basic guard runes can be farmed uh, down here. If we, if we go into the scenario, oh no, I just missed a double mana event. Fuck. So yeah, guard runes can be found in here, as you can see, whereas endurance are a bit further up. I think they're over here somewhere. No... Okay, so I found it. It's in the Tarmor Desert, which is uh, just the one over, but it's a little bit more tricky and a bit more annoying to do. So if you can't be asked for that, you can just pick up Guard Energy. It's a bit easier for you. But yeah, that's fine. So, back to the actual topic of this man. Now, uh, let's... So let's scroll over to him. There we go. Ta-da. Nice. Now, this is him. My, the actual stats I have for him at the moment are 16,000 health, 800 defense, and 92 resistance. The resistance... Realistically, you should be getting from one Endure rune set and then the rest in subs. Look, so if we look, we got 3% there, which isn't much, but it'll do. So there's 5 here, 13 here, 7 here, uh, 4 here, and there is none on that one. So for some reason, you have very high resistance, but um, yeah, that's what you need. You need it in subs. So make sure there is resistance on all the subs. I'd prefer 100% resistance. The 92 is fine, because what you are going to need him for is based on his skills. Now, um, if you look at the Rift video I did last time round, uh, I did a little bit of a brief thing on him. Um, but yeah, he is in the Rift video as well, so I'm not going to go into huge depth about him in this one. I'll leave the Rift video in the description, in which you can see where he's useful in Rift. But let's briefly go over the skills, because I didn't go over all of them. You've got Deadly Blow, which unleashes a Fatal Blow on the... On the uh, on an enemy disturbing HP for two turns with a 50% chance. So basically, it puts um, a heal debuff on. Heal break. Is it hit? No. It stops some healing for two turns. I don't know the actual word for it, but it stops some healing for two turns. And then you have this one here, which is check and destroy, which is, according to your max HP, does two shots. One shot will attack buff, no, attack debuff, and the other one will defense break. So basically, uh, and that's that's again with a 75% chance, and that's lovely in three turns. You can get, oh, you can't get it down to two. I thought you could, no. So that's reasonable in three turns, which actually isn't too bad. Um, so attack break, defense break, very good in the uh, in the rift. And then you have got this good old move here, which decreases your critical chance uh, hit, uh, no critical hit chance by 50%. And your reduces damage by 15, which is just brilliant. It's far better than the Light Vagabond because the Light Vagabond doesn't have the critical hit uh, removal chance. So, yeah, uh, that's why he's good. Control is very, very good. And you want him on the front line of your Rift team. That's the only place you're really going to need him. Um, you can take him into Guild Wars and stuff to tank and to, and to just be a tanker and to soak. Um... But it doesn't really... The passive, I don't think, works that well on him. Um, so, you you can take him in as a soaker. But you are going to need him mainly for your Rift team. And the Rift team always needs... Uh, for the Rift front line, is always high HP, high defense, high resistance. Which is what you want on this man here. Mine's not too bad. I mean, there are better ones to look at. 
but you do need better ones. Now, um, apart from that, I think I have enough energy. I do. I shall demonstrate to thee in rift level. That one's a quick one. I'm not going to take them to a high up one because that's going to take a while. Let's do just let's just do R2 for now. I think R2 make party uh, public, and we're going to take in my my buff cake team, which at the moment is when it wants to load. I'll I'll just show it when it loads. Right. Okay. So as you can see, we're in we're in here now, and um, we're already immune up. We're doing the damage. I brought in a friend's team for support, so that SYDY guy is definitely going to win because he is just ridiculously strong. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, we're not taking too much damage here because first we have an immunity on to stop giving us debuffs, but this control passive will stop us taking damage. Now, um, let's let's see what's happening here. So after that scream, really not much damage. Now this is only S2, no R2, so it's not too strong, but that control passive is really minimizing the damage given to our team. Lovely. This thing's dying so fast. Now, I'm also sorry we're watching this like a presentation. My phone is retarded and I need a new one so it can actually run this game properly because it's actually getting a bit slow and it can't do it. There you go. There's the mobilize up because we were getting a bit low, but damage is being decreased massively. We're up to 30%, 32% now because in fact we um, only have one major attacker. Uh, 34, 36. Okay, we're actually climbing quite highly now. But uh, I think we may be in a little bit of trouble because the passive can be silenced. As you all know what silencers do. Look at Tessarion. He's a big old silencer. And that's a bit sad now. Come on. Uh, I'd re Oh, yes. A full-on cleanse. Yeah, buddy. Nice. Now, let's, um, let let's just finish you off now, shall we? We're doing the bits here. Look at this. Check and destroy. Bish bash. Boshy wash. I think there may be one more jump to come. I don't know. Oh, yes. We're right up there. Oh, we're winning now. There's a surprise. We're now taking you down, son. That SYDY guy is not going to beat me. I refuse. Oh, he's been silenced too. And that dragon is down. And we took the win, which I did not expect because uh, my friend is very strong. I'm not as strong, but it seems I clearly am. And my Rift team isn't too shabby. Now, uh, with a first place... We get, actually, that's not bad. Let's put that on now, on somebody, and see what happens. But, yeah, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get that. That's decent. Yes, please. Now, as you can see, um, Diaz stopped the damage coming in, which allowed me to soak more, um, which actually made life a lot easier. That is why you need Diaz. You don't need him for much else, to be honest. It's really just a bit pointless for, for anybody else to be uh to be having that right now. Where's Laker? I I just know Laker can use this very well. Uh, we must have an attack percent up top. <gasps> we do. Uh, I'm gonna power this up. I'm gonna enchant this with this. Eighteen percent. Come on. Okay. Eighteen percent. Come on. Big old percent. Sixteen. That's all right. Plus three percent. How much attack are you on now, son? 16,000. Woo! That's not bad, actually. That's pretty, that's pretty healthy. It's pretty good. Right, yeah, so I'm going to wrap this video up here. If you did enjoy and you have any questions, please be sure to let me know. Now you know how to ruin a Diaz and where to put him. Um, apart from that, that's all I really need to say. If you do have any other questions, be sure to chuck them in the description. Uh, any comments or anything, not description, chuck them all in the comments. It's fine by me. I'll answer them as quickly as I humanly can. And yes, I shall catch you on the next video. Thank you and goodbye.